What's up, everybody? I'm back. <clears throat> Last game was a little short, so hopefully this one's a little better. Um, I started talking to you guys about the games this weekend. Um, got cut off because the guy I played sucked, which I love. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes it's nice to just get a quick, easy win. Not stressful. Look at this. I, and I'm going to open up this game with a kick return touchdown. Oh! Oh, come on, baby! Break those tackles! Oh, man! Patterson wanted that! on both sides of the football this time. How about that return? How do I keep getting... If that was Trent Holiday, who was my original kick returner before they fucking took him off my roster, uh, that would have been a touchdown because he's got speed. Man, I wanted that touchdown. That's a, that's a nice way to open a game. Either way, i got great field position, so I'll be shocked if I don't score on this drive. At, at, at the very least, I, I, unless I fumble or, or throw a pick, I got a field goal in my pocket, so I'm happy about that. Nice cut. Oh, man! I hurled the wrong way. Well, I'm already, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting excited because, you know, you start the game off like that, you want to just, you know, make a statement early and just punch it in. Oh, he stuffed me. I'm gonna go for it though. I, I can't. I can't piss away a good kick return like that. Worst case scenario, I don't get it. And the guy's stuck at the two yard line. But Finley comes back for the ball for me. Thank you very much. A nice little zig. So I'll take it. I cashed in. You can't. When you get a kick return like that, uh, you can't. You you gotta cash that in for six. I'm sorry. There's just no way around it. No field goal bullshit here. So. Anyway, so let me get back into the games from earlier. Um, Saints Panthers, the, the Saints won. Nothing to say about that. Um, the Cowboys. The Cowboys a week ago were riding high. They're six and one. Then they come. They come in. Uh, they're at home. Against, <coughs> excuse me. They're at home against Washington, who's got nothing to play for, by the way, with a with a, their third backup quarterback. Okay. The defense. Um, I'm sorry. Their third quarterback, Cousins, got benched, so they had uh, Colt McCoy in. They got nothing to play for, and boy, did they bring it to Dallas. I mean, they Romo was under pressure pretty much the whole game. They were blitzing the shit out of him, and they wound up. He got knocked out of the game. Whedon comes in. That was a good game. That was actually a really fun game, and because. I needed Washington. Uh, needed the Dallas to lose. I'm, I'm rooting hard for Washington, and uh, they almost pissed it away. They they get that. Uh, uh, who was it? Carrigan almost gets that pick, or that fu I'm sorry, fumble recovery. When Romo came back in the game, he hits uh, he hits Romo. Romo fumbles the ball. He almost fell on it. Carrigan almost falls on it, and uh, he just missed it. So Dallas got the ball back. I'm like no, because they were they they would have been right. In, um, in field goal range already. As it was, the game went to overtime, and, and you know, uh, After that completion. Washington wound up winning the game, which was huge because, like I said, the Giants are chasing uh, the Eagles and, and Dallas right now. So Dallas is riding high, 6-1. and one. They lose to Washington, lose Romo. Then they come out this week. They've got to play the Cardinals, and the Cardinals are a good team. <clears throat> Let's Don't discount uh, or discredit the Cardinals. They're 6-1. and one. They come in. Now... Romo doesn't start. He doesn't even suit up, as a matter of fact. He's got two fractures in his back, and they, loo they lose uh, to the Cardinals. Cardinals 7-1. So Dallas has got knocked off their cloud nine real quick. They go from 6-1 and one and, you know, feeling like they're on top of the world like gangbusters, and they just got knocked off their perch real fast. So we don't know what's going to happen with Romo. He's got two fractures in his back, like I said. We don't know if he's going to come back next week. Or what's going to happen with him? They got to play in London next week, I think. So who knows? That, ball is that guy just ran bench on me and uh, hit a nice little post route. For the, seventh play of the, drive. <clears throat> um, the Eagles won. They beat the Texans. Texans are just a, they're just a Jekyll and Hyde up and down team. There's Witten. Witten catches fucking everything, by the way. <laughs> Speaking of Witten catching everything, the Cardinals block a field goal. 
They're running it back for a touchdown as time is expiring in the first half. And of all people, Witten, who's got cinder blocks for feet, one of the slowest guys on the field, catches him and, and prevents a touchdown. Yeah, they, 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 the Cardinals still won the game, but, I mean, Witten, Witten, you can't say enough good about him. As much as I hate to say it because he's a, a fucking cowboy, the guy is just, he's a great player. He does everything that's asked him. He's on special teams, and he's running back. He's running down guys and preventing touchdowns the other way. That's an unselfish team player. All right, that that's a guy that anybody would be would be glad as as anything to have on their team. So you can't say enough good about him. So anyway, so the Eagles win against the Texans. Um, like I said, the Texans are up and down. They'll win a game, then they'll lose a game, then they'll win a game. They're an 8-8, eight 7-9 eight, team. I love that little pitch play, by the way. I love that pitch play. It gets everybody going one direction, and then he pitches it back the opposite way. That's a great, great little play. It's good for a nice 5-10 yard gain, at least. Unless, you know, and then if he gets singled on a safety, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to beat him most of the time. So I, I love that little play. There you go. Oh, what a how is that not pass interference? How is that not pass interference or at least illegal contact? My guy fucking gets hit off the wall. Um, hit. He makes his cut on a slant. He gets hit, and they don't they don't throw a flag on that, and they give this fucking guy a user pick. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's such horse shit. It re that really is horse shit. They're setting up screen. Good. Fucking bullshit interception right there. On a guy, there should have been a penalty. They don't, they don't, not that I want the game to be loaded with penalties, because I don't. But they don't throw fucking flags in this game for shit. On obvious calls, too. So now I need my defense to step up big here and fucking stop this guy. Because that, that's just horse shit. Give a guy a free fucking, a free, to me, that's a free possession. When you guys watch the video, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. My guy's running, and then he gets hit. He stumbles. No illegal contact and no pass interference. Now this guy's just going to run hurry up the whole fucking game. That, that, that just pisses me off. See? But where's my pick? Where's my user pick? They're not going to give me shit, though. They're going to fucking help this guy out and give him pick, not me, though. God damn. Hate that. <laughs> so what, what other games were interesting today? The Browns, Bucks, the, the Bucks are just awful. Um, they've got three teams that are just terrible this year. The Bucks, the Jaguars, and the Raiders. They're just awful. I mean, they really are awful. They, um, the, the, those three teams are basically fighting for the first pick of the draft for next year. A um, couple of teams that were surprising that lost today, and the way they did, the Chargers. The Chargers got destroyed. I mean, just destroyed. There you go. That's See, now that's justice right there. Nice user pick. Make a little spin move on top of it to get some yards back. That's justice right there. But see, typical, typical of Madden, though. Okay, typical of Madden. They don't give me the easy pick. No, they'll give me the hard one. So, I mean, it's just, it never ceases to amaze you with, with the, the bullshit that Madden's going to pull on you. So I'm going to run a little hurry up on my own here and try and catch him here. And now they have a good situation. He'll keep it on the play fake. He'll throw it over the middle. And that's... Oh, man. He was ready for it. I got to give him credit there. Um, anyway, so the Chargers, they got just destroyed by the Dolphins. Dolphins are an up-and-coming team, though. They really are. They got they got some good things going for them. We got Tannehill. Uh, Tannehill's playing good. He's probably the best quarterback they've had since Marino. I mean, they finally got a franchise quarterback. Um, they've been searching for a franchise quarterback for years now. So it looks like they finally got one, and he played good. He played really good. Destroyed the Chargers. Chargers are a good team though. They'll bounce back. Um, they're they're a little bit of. It's, that's another thing right there. That should be a penalty. It's a horse collar. But they don't call penalties in this game. 
And again, like I said, I'm not telling you to load the game with penalties. I'm not saying that at all. But to just blatantly have shit like that happen is is fucking wrong. And now they're going to call me for a flag for an illegal forward pass. They're going to... See? They're going to call me for those flags, but they're not going to throw horse collaring or illegal contact or, whole, or pass interference. Hey, come on. You know, all you have to so fucking help this guy out, man. Every break they want to give, they're going to give it to him. You can see how that game, this game is going to go. It's going to be a fucking struggle to the end. That's legal. That's the quarterback way past the line scrimmage. Throws to the right. Wittner gets Damn. Just way off. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can I am going to go for it. Not easy to pick up first. I don't give a fuck. Worst case scenario, uh, he scores on me. Big deal. It's only seven points. Yeah, he fucked up. He thought I was going to punt. It's an empty backfield for luck this time. The Giants have it at the 39. That's a fail. Wow. Guys got the guys definitely got some good defense. I'm not going to lie. I was starting to run the ball really good, then he, he clamped down on that, and now he's, he seems to be clamping down on my passing game really good, too. He keeps running the same formation, by the way. Andrew Luck under center. First and ten. That's funny, too. He's, he's using Andrew Luck, and so am I. That catch gives them a first down. The difference is, though, he rolls out. And he's got, you know, all day to throw. I roll out and I get called for an illegal forward pass. And I know it was an illegal forward pass. That's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is they're, they're not calling the fucking penalties, penalties that they should, which is which is forcing me to do shit like that. You know. First down. <clears throat> so what other games are to... Oh, the big one. How did I forget this one? The Broncos and the Patriots. How do you... I mean, we're, we are really, uh, we're lucky to be in this time that we're in. You always hear about the great quarterbacks of back in the day. <clears throat> you know, the Montanas and, you know, the Johnny Unitases and all those guys. But, you know, not a lot of us aren't old enough to, re I should have had a tackle on the backfield there. Not a lot of us are old enough to really remember them. You know, we've seen footage and, and stuff like that, but it does it's not the same as actually being able to watch them week after week, year after year. And we're lucky to be seeing two quarterbacks in Brady and Manning, you know, and have the careers that they have. And they're playing again. Uh, just epic, you know, you... Oh, really? Really? So they're just going to give this guy the game. Put your fast guys on the kicking team. They're just going to give this guy the fucking game. They're not going to give me fucking penalties. They're going to give him bullshit interceptions. And they're going to give him a fucking fumble. Why don't, why don't they just tell me before the fucking game starts, hey, just line out on the field so we can just let this guy score. Why don't they just, they should come with a disclaimer before every game. Say, hey, this game, we're going to let you have. But this game, we're going to let you get it right in the fucking ass with no lube. Just bend over now and take it hard. That's what they should say. Unfucking real that they just give a guy a fucking game like that. God fucking damn, man. Look at this faggot safety, too. Swishing back and forth like a douchebag. I got lucky to even throw that fucking ball away. I don't mind losing. Don't get me wrong on that. You guys see my videos. I post when I lose, too. I don't just post wins. But make it fucking fair. Make it fair. All right? If you're going to give hit this guy faggot shit, give me some faggot shit, too. I mean, fucking bullshit, man. A fucking fumble. Just watch. You watch now, okay? Watch how much bullshit they give this guy, but I don't get nothing. <coughs> Unfucking real. Meanwhile, he can just run the same fake, the same faggot formation. Safe, by the way. Safe formations and fucking score with no problem on me. Just just hits Witten on a fucking dart. 
<clears throat> and, 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 you know, scores. But I gotta struggle my fucking ass off to get my touchdowns. Get the fuck out of here, man. The only reason, I, the only reason I'm on the board is because I had a great kick return. Second and three. They give it to him on the counter. Now, I said this before, and I'll say it again. I love that play. I love that play. I could run that play again if I wanted to. He'd probably somehow be ready for it, but it's just a great little play. It really is. And take some chances. <clears throat> First and goal from the seven. Off the mark. I got a score here, though. Play number six coming up. Now, depending on what happens here and on third down, I don't know if I'm going to go for a field goal or if I'm going to go for a touchdown yet. I don't know. They're giving this guy some bullshit right now. Everyone split out wide. Second and goal from the seven. Throws the pass. There we go. I didn't even have to uh, make a decision, thank God. Tight ends are so valuable down. That, that pisses me off, though. Like, fucking seriously, man. I, like I said, I, the turnovers are part of the game. I get that. Okay? But the first turnover, you guys saw it. My guy got fucking smacked and stumbling around. They don't call fucking no penalty of any kind. I get tackled in the backfield in a horse collar. They don't call that shit. But they give this guy a fucking bullshit fumble and a bullshit user pick. Yeah, it said user pick on it. I get it. But it should have been fucking nothing like that. Then, then... I, they throw. He throws the ball downfield. My guy jumps up. Perfect coverage on the whole play. I jump up. Don't get a pick. But they give me the hard one later on. I mean, come on. Make it fucking fair, man. At, le at least make it fair that way. You know, you're gonna lose a game. I don't have a problem with that. But make it fucking fair. That, that's all I'm saying. Make it legit on both sides is what I mean. Don't give one guy bullshit and one guy, you know, has to suffer the shit. You guys know. When you're on the receiving end of, of Madden bullshit, it's fucking hard to overcome that shit. Especially if you're playing against a guy that's decent. Now, I don't think this guy's all that good. He's not bad, but I don't think he's all that good. He just keeps hitting little, you know, faggot plays to Witten. And Witten catches everything. So, you know, you're not, you're not doing anything special. Airing it out. What a catch. Middle of the field. He's got one play here. Think in the league anymore. Everybody's so careful. I gotta just guard the end zone now. I should play fucking bitch ball right now and drop all my guys out. I'm not gonna do that because I don't like playing that way. But they're giving this guy some shit. I need some shit. Come on. Throw it over the middle. Pulls it in. Gains 17. I don't call that good pocket presence. I call that my guy's not getting no pressure. For this first half, we'll be back. Now this is the worst part about it. See, I gotta kick off now and hope hope to stop this fucking guy so I can at least tie the game. See, th th uh, whatever. We'll see what happens. So anyway, so you, th that that's my point though with Brady and Manning. We are lucky to be at this time and being able to see those guys play. They played some great games, regular season and postseason. The Cowboys offense. And right now. Uh, New England's winning 13 to seven. You know, a long way to go. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in this game too. Johnson up the middle. Games 12. Now I don't. I, I want. I want the Broncos to win. I, I just. I want. I, I. I want Peyton Manning to get another Super Bowl before he retires. And I just don't see. In, in my opinion, Denver's the best team in the league right now. I just don't see who. Who's better than them? There you go. Exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. I get him for a fucking... And I can't tackle the guy down. And he's able to run for another 30 yards. I mean, come on. They better start giving me some shit. Like fucking real. This guy didn't fucking earn this win. If he wins, he didn't earn it. Now he's going to throw it to Witten. Right to Witten. Uh, it looked like he was going to. There you go. <coughs> Finally. Now, now see, that's exactly what I needed there. Now I can come back and tie this game. <laughs> assuming, by the way, assuming that they, that they let me. I'm serious. They should, really, they should really do that. Put a disclaimer. Put a disclaimer at the beginning of the game. Say, hey, you're going to get fucked in this game. Behind the line 
So at least I know, and then I won't get mad. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be hilarious if they did that. And <laughs> eleven. That catch will extend the drive. Come on, Finley. Fin you know, Finley is forever hurt in this game, but he never comes out. He's look. They just said he was hurt, and there he is. And as soon as we get it, but it looks like it cracks me up. Your injury, and I just well, I hope the best. Bites through that hit. They'll mark him. That play scared me. A lot of times you throw zigs and the fucking guy stops before you and, and picks you off. I get nervous about that shit. But see now look. Look how hard. Look how hard I got to work to fucking to move the ball. This guy gets chunks and chunks of yards. I got to work my ass off to score. It leads to a score. Because of bullshit. Up the box here with a four, six formation. Try to run a read option there. I get smashed in the backfield for a four-yard loss. First time I ran that play, and that's what happens. Now the defense is in a good situation. So that sucks. The Giants have it at the 44. Keeps it on the play thing. Secures it. Again, oh, man. I actually... I was Again, now Finley's injured again. And he would probably still be in the game. What's the point of even saying injury if, if he's just going to keep him in the game? Stupid. It's, just, it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. And look, he's still in the game. So, I, I, I mean, make up your mind. Is he injured or he's not injured? The Giants will take the snap from the 45. Fought for the first down. Tackles just keep turning out first downs. That's all I want to do right now. Turn out first downs. I'm here in the second half. They're losing a close game. And you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook. And it just gives you a better chance of going down the field. Oh, man. Patriots just scored. And he takes off. He's looking to the right here. Hey, oh, that would have been a great play. This doesn't look good. And now Reggie Bush just got crushed. Yeah, it looks like an upper body injury. You could tell he was fake. That would have been a great play. But you see, look at the difference of what they're what, what he's getting and what I'm getting. I roll out to the right and I'm under pressure fucking big time. He runs out to the right and he's got presence for days. And time to throw. And then, when I make a great play, they don't fucking let me complete the goddamn pass. <laughs> it's just going to be a tough game all the way to the end, man. Do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Play after play after play here on this drive. And look at this. I can't even get a running game going. I started too earlier in the first quarter. Then all of a sudden, I'm just bottled up. I can't do nothing. They're driving down the field. Let's see if they can put seven points on the board. Reaches out and... There's Finley. Did he get, did he get hurt again? By the offensive coordinator the pass. Picks up some solid yards. Fuck, man. How, how, how hard do you want to make a goddamn game? It's not anything that this, this guy's doing, really. This long drive continues. Third down. I need this first. I need this first down. Bad. Gonna try and Just run it. There you go. Slide. There you go. And ends the play. I got. I got to be careful, man. I got to be really careful because I know. I know they're gonna give him some more shit. EA Sports. First Why would it be any different? They've been doing it all fucking game. The long drive continues. He'll take the snap. The first here in the fourth quarter. Getting away from the pressure. And gains about one. Uh, at least I got a yard on that. Red zone, now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. I got to score here. Though. This, this is basically... See, now, look how hard I'm working here to fucking score. You know what's going to happen. He gets the ball back, and he's going to fucking run down the clock on me and score a field goal and go home. Either that, or he's going to score, and I'm going to have to try and work my ass off to score again, and I'm going I'm to run out of time. This is third down. It's not like I'm not trying my fucking hardest. I am. You're just getting some of the luckiest plays you ever saw in your life. And, it's and there you go. So there, that's pretty much the game right there. He's brought down. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That that's my guy too, Cromartie. That sucks. 
finally they come up. That the sucks big time. And they get the interception inside. Well, let me let me finish talking about the Giants right now. Or, or I didn't even get, get get to them. You had um, Dallas lose. Okay, the Eagles won. So now Dallas is chasing the Eagles. The Giants are chasing the Eagles and Dallas. <coughs> um, why is this guy playing hurry up right now? I have no idea. I, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be playing, you know, I got my lead. See, you're playing hurry up. That's stupid because if I sacked him right there and made him fumble, I'm right back in the game. This guy's playing like an ass. I hope he does fumble. Give me a break here. He's probably going to try and find Witten here in the seam. That's where, you know, he's, he's dying to go there. But instead, see, now again, I, I got great coverage on the play. He, same coverage that he had, but they're giving him the interceptions, and they're not giving them to me. That's the difference in this game right now. That's the only difference in this game, is that they're giving him the bullshit, and they're not giving it to me. I run the ball up the middle, I get stuffed for fucking one yard. He runs up the, uh, up the middle and gets ten yards. That, that's, that's the whole difference. It's not that he's playing any better than me. He's just getting the bullshit. I'm not. So anyway, so the Giants are playing the Colts. Um, they they need to run that run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. But Rashad Jennings is not back. They have Andre Johnson. Uh, I'm sorry, Andre Williams. And Andre Williams is just not good yet. He will be next year, hopefully. But right now, he's just not. To give the team a chance. And that's Man, can I get a fumble? It's a quarterback. Can I get a fumble? No, they're not going to give it to me. I, eh, whatever. I'm done talking about this game. You guys can watch the rest of it while I talk about my shit. So they're playing the Colts. Um, the Colts are dangerous as it, as, as it gets. They just throw the ball all over the field. And Andrew Luck has no fear. None whatsoever. So the Giants need to do two things. They need Beckham Jr. to come up big. And they need to run the ball. To, to limit Andrew Luck's, um, you know, possessions. If they win that game, and somehow, and somehow win in Seattle, then, then we got a season. Then we got a season. They got to play... They gotta play the Colts. They gotta play Seattle. They gotta play the Niners, and then I think they gotta play Dallas. <clears throat> so if they can somehow win two of these next three games, and then beat Dallas, then then you know things are gonna start to work for them because that the last games of their season are easy. They got the Titans, which are garbage. They got Jacksonville, which is garbage, and then they got um. I think they play the Vikings too, or the Rams. Play one of those teams. I forget. I have to look at that later on. So they got all these garbage teams that where they can really, uh, you know, get fat and get some wins. Pressure, trying to work that left side. What? What is that? I uh, see. I've never seen a game where there's so many overthrows. listen. Guys, wide fucking open, and he throws the ball nowhere near where he was. That's horrendous. protection. Colts. Colts are a good team. They're not great, but they... Wow! Almost gave it up. And Finley's injured again, quote-unquote. What's the point of even putting that up there? Um, Colts, uh, they got Bradshaw, the former Giant, who's having a great year. He's got six receiving touchdowns so far this year for a running back. Six receiving touchdowns. And he's playing phenomenal. So... And then they got Knicks. Knicks is going to, you know, try and make a play. You know that. He wants to stick it to the Giants. But fuck him. He, to me, he's garbage. He showed nothing the past two years that he was with them. And, and somehow he keeps saying that he's still one of the best receivers in the league. He's done nothing in two years. So, you know, whatever. I, I'm really pulling for the Giants, obviously. I want them to win. They need it. They, I, I need them to have some sort of a season, even if they don't make the playoffs. All right, at least make it interesting for me. <laughs> he got hurt again. The training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That, that, that's comedy right there. In the action live, it did not look. That really is comedy. Let's hope for the best and, and just hope it's not too serious. 
I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. God forbid. God forbid I get a touchdown and then an onside kick, by the way. I think I, it, um, I've gotten, like, one onside kick out of all the onside kicks I've tried, which isn't a lot, but, you know, I've tried enough of I've tried enough onside kicks in the, in this game to know that I should have gotten a couple of them. So it's luck out of the pistol. That, that's definitely you know not in the cards for me. Plus I only got one timeout anyway. And now he'll take off. Needs to get rid of it. There we go. You must be very creative. That's one thing about this game that I noticed too. They don't let they don't give you the freedom to cut to make quick cuts anymore. I should have been able to turn that ball upfield and score a touchdown there. Solid pickup. By rights, but they they just they don't give you that that, that ability no more. Touchdown. So I am I, I scored. Hooray for me. Got to get an outside kick, which they're not going to give me. I'll be shocked, shocked if they give me an outside kick. That touchdown pass. The Giants trying to keep their hopes alive and recover an onside. What is this guy stupid? Of course I'm going to go for an onside kick. You guys can say I'm bitching and crying and moaning all you want. You saw the game. Yeah, of course, look who it is. Whitten, he catches everything. And he's going to be brought down right around. I, I guess that's fitting that, that it's Whitten since he catches everything. I hope this guy, I hope this guy fucking uh, does something stupid here. Yeah, he, he's going to throw the ball. Receivers are bunched up. He's going to do something safe, of course, but... And that's Johnson in on the stop. Second down. He's still playing hurry up. See, it would, it's not going to happen. I know that, but it would serve this guy right. It would serve him right to get a fumble, you know, to throw, uh, to get a fumble or throw an interception. Now, that's a dickhead move in itself. What's the point of going hurry up just to then milk the clock? It makes no sense. Just end the game. You won. Show some class. End the game. Take a knee, and that's it. But, you know, he, he doesn't do that. He goes hurry up, then he eats the clock. Why? It makes no sense. So, anyway, like I said, you guys can say I'm bitching and moaning all you want, but you guys saw the game. Um... They, they, they gave that game, that game to the guy. They, uh, he didn't beat me. They gave it to him. In my opinion. The guy was decent, but he wasn't that good. And he only won by a touchdown with all the bullshit. So, eh, whatever. You, you, you're bound to lose. It happens. But you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. And uh, before I go, one last thing. Check out, uh, check out my boy D the General's channel. He's got some good games up there. He does a good job with his videos, and he just hit uh, 200 uh, subscribers. So give him a look because uh, he's got a nice little channel going for himself, and uh, he's building it up nice. Um, I will see you guys next time. Later.